Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Puyo Pop games on the GBA. Puyo Pop are amazing puzzle games. In the first one, the single player mode offers a little bit of story and this is already a staple of quality in my opinion. I mean, most puzzle games just give you some levels and that's that. Puyo Pop offers a story and not only this, but after you finish a story puzzle, you unlock side quests. There are also 6 different areas in the game, areas are mostly just different backgrounds, but still it's nice, it offers more variety than other puzzle games. What sucks is that aside of the story mode, an endless mode and some multiplayer modes where you need of course a link cable and another player with a GBA and the same game, there aren't really any other game modes. But after all, what matters most in a game is the gameplay, and there the game provides. The gameplay is fun and addictive. And Puyo Pop Fever contains what the other game should have too, meaning the other game modes. The first one has a story mode and an endless mode. Fever contains exhibition matches against computer opponents of your choosing, a time attack mode and the original endless mode. It doesn't have a story though and that's what I'm saying, the content of both would have made an incredible game. But well, any of the two you will choose will be good. Because of the game itself, Puyo Pop is an addictive game, with or without a story, you will most probably just like the game, because of the gameplay itself. Too bad that they didn't make an ultimate Puyo Pop game on the GBA that has the content of both of these two games included in just one cartridge. 